Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Benizia Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with remove the dark eyeglasses, remove the shades. And you know what? I'm still thinking of Numbers chapter 22 to Numbers chapter 24, the story of Balaam, a prophet of God. A prophet of God. And the Bible said, I mean, he was so powerful that when he prophesied, he came to pass. He was not an Israelite, but he was blessed. One way or the other, he had found access to, to, to the blessings of Israel, the blessings of Abraham's descendants. You get it through an act of grace. Because at that time, the law was what was in operation at that time. But Balaam had come into grace. And he had come into an inheritance that he didn't really deserve. And now here's the, here's the principle. He was about to do something. God said to him the first time, don't do it. But then he went to God because the offer was big. The offer to do that thing looked more, more nice and more juicy. Balaam was a prophet of God. And Balaam had been given great, I mean, uh, privilege that he shouldn't have been entitled to. But all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Balaam, I mean, um, with the, with, the, with the idea that he was going to get something much more, he goes to offer God. I said, look, I need to go, I need to go. God said, okay, you go. And the Bible said, on his journey towards fulfilling that particular thing, an angel of God stood in the way, ready to kill Balaam. And the interesting thing is that Balaam didn't see, but the donkey saw destruction ahead. Balaam was wearing shades. Balaam was wearing shades of greed. Balaam was looking at situations through the eyeglasses of opportunity. Balaam was looking at events through, through the, the this thing of this is prophet. And so, so far as he was wearing the shades of, of prophet, he couldn't even reason. He couldn't even see the danger ahead. Sometimes the shades we wear color the picture for us. And sometimes the glasses we wear, when, when you're wearing shades, look, it's, it's very sunny out here. And that's the reason why I'm wearing the shades. It's so sunny out here that my eyes are being burnt, so I, I need to wear this. But even though it's sunny, I see everything like, is, like the, the, the world is dark. The, the, I, I, I can't see uh, a, a bright sunlight, I see dusk. I can't see sunshine, I see dusk. Because of what I'm wearing. Sometimes the shades of prejudice you wear is going to, is going to blow you out and, and walk you into danger. Because you refuse to see beyond the shades. Because you refuse to, to see beyond what it is. Yours is not a kaleidoscope. Yours is a tunnel vision, one track, one color. And that color is a color of greed. That color is a color of opportunity. That color is a color of profit. And so you can't see anything else. And so everything must line up with that goal. Everything must line up with that vision. Everything must line up with that revelation that you think you have. Even though there's destruction ahead of you. Take off the shades. You might see clearly. Choice is yours. See you later.